I know that look. You want me to either fool Brooke or m try to make her jealous? No. And oh, no, would, no, no, no. you no, dash no. all hopes, would you just hear me out? Stuart, I love Brooke. I've uh, tried to prove my devotion. I've done everything I can that she's asked me to do. I've been a part of her life. I've stayed as far out of her life as she wanted me to at any particular moment. I've, I've tried to make her happy. But I know. And Brooke knows deep down inside that she's never going to be happy if she's not with me. <laughs> Maybe now she knows it. She just won't admit that she still loves me, so I had to take things to the next inevitable level. By getting engaged to Liza? Had to raise the stakes, Stuart. Make Brooke aware that she wants me, needs me. How is she supposed to realize that when you're engaged to another woman? I explained to Brooke why I was marrying Liza. If Brooke refused to be with me, then I'd have to move on, make some kind of future for myself, for yourself and Liza. What did she say? It's what she did. <laughs> what did she do? She kissed me, Stuart, as if we were the only two people on the face of the earth. <laughs> the chemistry is still there. I really got to her. But you're marrying Liza. <laughs> Don't be silly. Why would I marry Liza Colby? We don't love each other. I'm confused. There isn't going to be a wedding, Stuart. There never was going to be a wedding. It's all a ploy to make Brooke and Ted jealous. And it's working. Brooke is ready to come clean and admit she never stopped loving me. <laughs> well, is that brilliant? You know, it's stupid <laughs> and, and, and really mean and humiliating and totally dishonest. Brooke is going to hate you for it. I have an understanding. No one is going to be hurt. And Brooke is this close to declaring her love for me. All she needs is a little tiny push. Brooke doesn't like to be pushed. It's my point exactly. So all you have to do is reassure Brooke that I love her above all else and that I will always love her no matter what, married or un. I'm supposed to tell her that. She's primed. Stuart. She loves me. Help her admit it. Help both of us be happy. Adam, I, I want you to be happy. You're my brother. And that I know you and Brooke love each other. You, you always will. But I'm just afraid I, I don't... I'm not sure you belong together anymore. Stuart, how can you say that? Adam, you don't even know when you're hurting people. I'm not hurting anybody. What about Liza? Don't you think she's going to be humiliated when you dump her at the altar? You don't even like Liza. Why are you worrying about her? I don't have to like her to care about her. And that's what's the matter with you. You, you, you don't treat people like, 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 like they're people. You would treat them like they're a, a piece of wood or, or puppets or something, and that you could just pull their strings and get them to do what you want, and then when they do what you want, you just throw them away. That's nonsense. I don't do that. You want to run people's lives, and I, I won't help you. It's wrong. I'm very disappointed in you, Stuart. Well, vice versa. Well, you leave me no choice. I have to do what you won't do. You're not going to pretend to be me. Not again. Yes, again. To win Brooke back, I'd impersonate the devil if I have to.
You can't. You... <sighs> oh, what's wrong? What? You, you were... Oh, you were... <laughs> you were talking. Oh, was I? Yeah. Mm. Are you okay? Uh, I'm not sure. <sighs> when I had that awful nightmare about my mom dying in the fire, you said... The best way to get over it was to, to deal with it and talk about it. Oh, that's very smart of you to use my maternal advice against me. Hey, whatever works. And and look, you're an excellent mom. Just look at Jamie. He's the best. Oh, thanks. I mean, I'm no expert, but I've seen the talk show shrink. You know, dreams are all pretty simple, like images and symbols, like... Um, like rooms in a house or areas in your life. Water is sex. Water is sex? Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's like really basic, I think. Like like um like if you're if you're standing on a high diving platform and, and you're you're terrified and you're just like staring down at the water and you can't dive, that 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 means you're like scared of sex. Well, what if you're swimming like gangbusters in the arts of the Olympics and you're winning all the meets? <laughs> Is that what you've been dreaming? <laughs> there was no water in this dream, trust me. Listen, let me finish making this, would you? Uh, the dream. The dream. Okay, the dream. <clears throat> um, I was somewhere, I didn't know exactly where. Uh, there was a wedding going on, and everything was gray, and I remember, um, I looked at the guests their faces and they were all strangers and uh, it seemed to be that there was some reason that I was at the proceeding that I was I was supposed to stop it and um, I remember that I ran up to the groom and I told him he was marrying the wrong woman and uh, then I woke up mystery wedding huh? uh -huh. so what do you say dr. Freud well I mean were you one of the guests or did you crash <clears throat> I mean, did, did you feel like frightened or sad? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I um, I guess you could say if I felt anything, it was uh, panic. Panicked. I I sort of remember feeling like I might have had tears in my eyes. So it was sad. I think it's normal for people to cry at a wedding, don't you? <clears throat> well, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. The bride and groom were Adam and Liza Colby. They were. And then how come I didn't recognize Adam? Well, and the significance isn't in, in the faces or in the people, but in you wanting to stop the wedding. Really? No, you sound very authentic. Thanks. You're welcome. And, yes, I know, you can sock me if you want, but, I mean, you know. The bride and groom have to be Adam and the Colby person. I mean, and you're obviously very upset about having this guy you used to be married to hooked up with a witch like that. I let Adam go. He can marry whoever he wants. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't. Not a bit. You can't pretend to be me. I won't say anything to Brooke that's not true. Adam Brooke will see right through you. And she'll hate you for it. Remember when you kidnapped yourself to test Gloria? That didn't work either. That was an entirely different situation. This is surefire. <laughs> Adam, you're hopeless. I'm going to talk to Brooke once, just once. She wants to know the truth. I'm going to tell her the truth. Well, Stuart is going to tell her the truth. Unless... Stuart, you wouldn't tell Brooke about this conversation, would you? Brooke should know the whole truth. Stuart, how could you do this to me? You know how I worship her. You want us to marry. It would be like killing me, Stuart. You can't possibly want to destroy the half her happiness. Oh, Adam. Stuart, if you can't help me, at least don't betray me. Adam. 
I, I have an odd feeling about this. I think it's going to turn out bad. Be real bad. Don't do it. Good night, Stuart. <laughs> Brooke, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. Now I want to talk to you about it. Yeah, yeah, really wrong. Uh, I, I, that's why I came over so early. I'm sorry. No, no, it's all right. It, it, it's, it's Scott okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're fine, me and Scott. Uh, but it's, it's Adam. Uh, I really would like to talk to you about, about Adam, about the mistake he's about to make. It's really important. Can I come in? Sure, sure come in then. <clears throat> I was just going to make coffee. You know, your eyes tell the whole story, Brooke. You still care about my brother? And if he had any idea. He knows, Stuart. Well, if he really did, then, then he would cancel the wedding. We've already talked. You told Adam that you were still in love with him? No. Oh. I don't know how I feel about him. I feel something, OK? But I mean, is that enough for Adam? Probably not. I mean, I, I, I can't make Adam some lifetime commitment, so I don't have any right to interfere, well, don't you? Adam doesn't need any promises. Just, 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 just all he needs from you is a chance. Another chance. A, a chance, yes. It's not as if you have to sign something or, or anything. Just leave the door open a little crack. You sound like Adam. I do? Look, I told him I would, I would give it some thought. Oh, well, then he must be on cloud I nine. I didn't say yes, Stuart. Well, but you might. Please stop the wedding. You're the only person who can. Adam is a grown man. He knows what he wants, and he wants to get married. But not to Liza. Well, I am not prepared to take Liza's place. You don't have to. It's what Adam really wants. Oh, he'd be willing to settle for a whole, whole lot less. For how long? A few weeks, a few months? How long is it going to be before Adam presses his demands? I mean, what if your brother and I start over again and we're at each other's throats? Well, isn't it worth a try? Is it? Well, if you still love him. I don't know if I love him, Stuart. Well, find out. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, consult a Ouija board? <laughs> no, no, go to the wedding and sit in the front row and watch him slip the ring on Liza's finger and promise to love her for the rest of his natural life. And see if it uh, it makes you feel bad. And if it doesn't, then what have you lost? You lost an hour. But if your heart starts to ache and you feel like you're going to burst out crying when the minister says, if, is there anybody who has just cause? What am I supposed to do? Stand up and make a spectacle of myself? Stuart, you know that that's, that's not me. Well, you just have to decide which is worse. Spending uh, a couple of minutes embarrassed or losing Adam for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> 